There is life after Trump. There is life after Facebook. There is life after death. I just want to take a moment and to encourage my fellow friends from uh, United States. It's uh, very discouraging to see that the power of a huge company uh, exercises the freedom to to uh, close uh, and to suspend uh, on an unlimited uh, period of time the account of um, of a president but um, uh, that's an argument that they can come with and use it uh, as their freedom to do business uh, of course another type of freedom the freedom of speech is in danger based on uh, that kind of uh, action uh, the freedom of speech is the sign of uh, a very strong and healthy democracy and We've always um, watched the um, United States uh, as a great example for all the countries of the world as uh, a powerful, healthy, strong democracy. But uh, it seems that the freedom of, of speech was threatened um, um, greatly uh, in the last few days because um, of the way the free market um, and the freedom of doing business is understand, uh, understood by some people and exercised so in uh, um, in the light of all these uh, things that are happening um, with presidents with business people with um, uh, twitter accounts with facebook accounts um, we can uh, conclude that uh, the church uh, might be threatened and as a pastor i want to encourage my uh, fellow uh, friends uh, from united states um, that are uh, part of the church there uh, and um, are, are threatening their freedom to do church that uh, the church does not depend on Twitter does not depend on Facebook the church um, does not depend on any human institution does not depend on on the government from Washington or from any other state um, uh, the freedom of the church is not subordinated to any form of government the, the, the freedom of the church comes from the word of God. Um, uh, it's the freedom of the conscious, the freedom of exercising uh, your belief. Um, and the network uh, that the church has to cultivate is a network of disciples, the network of people, the network of, of physical life, the network of, um, of people that cannot be banned. Um, the church was and will never be dependent on social media net networks uh, online channels um, to advance in history and uh, to do uh, its job that was entrusted by jesus christ um, so the church developed and flourished in siberia north korea iran sudan, sudan china indonesia cuba uh, afghanistan roman empire uh, ottoman empire and so on the communist empire and um, you name it the church uh, survived and not only survived it flourished so the spiritual network of prayer and strong biblical teaching was all that the church needed in all these times uh, during the history the freedom of the church does not depend on any form of government as i said so uh, be courageous be encouraged by by uh, these words it's just a thought that I want to I wanna give you as an encouragement to, um, on uh, this day of um, um, January of the inauguration of a, a different kind of president that um, might not uh, be very supportive of church, of church though he, he attends church uh, very regularly. So, Church of United States, be strong in the Lord, be strong in the Word of God. Be strong in fellowship uh, that is not mediated by networks, by uh, media, by um, social media. And may the Lord bless you. I love you and uh, I'm praying for you.